can be players. Sure. You know, Mr. Sharma, just ho just hold that thought. In fact, let me also bring in another uh, uh, winning candidate out here. Mr. We've got Mr. Vineet Nair also joining us. Sir, firstly, congratulations. Tech Mahindra also getting shortlisted in the first list of payment banks out here. So let's get your first reaction on this. Mr. Nair, if you can hear me. Mr. Nair, can you hear me? This is Priyagya from Bloomberg TV. All right, we'll just try and reconnect with Mr. Vinit Nair out there as well. Remember, Tech Mahindra also one of the companies that's actually being shortlisted in the first list of those 11 uh, payment banks out here. But, you know, Mr. Sharma, you, you were talking about how, how important this is. You also are one of the, uh, you know, uh, the largest uh, M wallet uh, companies in the country as well. Take us through your synergies. Take us through how, how you'll be able to leverage this. Well, we today have been able to build an integrated platform where mm -hmm. the payment has extended to the commerce and has extended to the wallet. Wow. And yeah. the approach that we're going to take oh, is that you. consumers' transaction-led business mm -hmm. model instead of deposit-led business model. While government has allowed us to take deposits from consumers, but I think that uh, financial services in India have not leveraged the capability of the consumer transaction. Most of things have based on deposit to consumer stay. So we want to do the totally opposite of our deposit-led ecosystem that exists in the banking today. And that is the reason that we believe that we can bring half a billion Indians on the platform. Because not everybody has the money to store, but people have money to transact. <laughs> So just to try and analyze the kind of potential that we're actually talking about, because, you know, as we've seen, there have been newer products that have been coming, uh, there's been new exposure for the, uh, for the masses as well. Just to talk about the potential out here, what, what, what kind of, uh, you know, what, what kind of growth opportunities, what kind of potential do you see when we talk about payment banks in this country? Well, Payment Bank served the audience which has been totally left and I think in India only about 200-250 million other sure. people who got necessary minimum financial services product portfolio. So that leaves like uh, about 700-800 million extra that can come on platform. Our approach will be to pick up only half a billion of these in between those who have and have not. So country is today divided in halves which is about 250 and have not is like about a billion and we address half a billion of that. We believe by 2020, we'll be able to do the business of like 1 lakh crore on this platform. And that is some uh, large emissions that number that we're putting out. But we believe that we will be able to pull off seeing the kind of traction we're seeing on Paytm already going on. Mm. You know, you know, uh you know, Mr. Sharma, the other interesting bit out here is, uh, I mean, as you said, you're just hearing it via us that you've actually, you know, you've been shortlisted for this. But is, is there any kind of a plan that you can share with us, your strategy in terms of investments, how, how you're looking, you know, at probably at phase one, phase two and phase three, if you've got somewhat of a structured strategy? Well, we submitted that strategy to RBI and I think one of some of those points of strategy have been very well appreciated and that we are very proud of that. So, um, we want to start ASAP and we want to go ahead and build it uh, as soon as possible. So, nothing more. I mean, we're just waiting to get it started right away. <laughs> all right, Mr. Sharma, we wish, wish you all the very best then as far as uh, the new uh, venture is concerned out here and your, uh, as far as the strategy and uh, I wish you once again uh, congratulations as far as being shortlisted for the payment banks. That's, that's really a big development that we're actually hearing in the last couple of minutes uh, in regard to what we've picked up from the RBI circular. Let, let's bring in another voice, uh, voice in, Nageshwar Rao from NSDL also joining in. Uh, Mr. Rao, thank you so much for taking the time out to talk to us. Just your thoughts when we talk about the fact that we finally got those shortlisted candidates out uh, in regard to how this is likely to play out? You know, I think uh, the payment landscape is, uh, you know, uh, poised for uh, disruption in our country and of course, so, you know, from NSDL, of course, so we are very keen to play uh, an important role in terms of promoting cashless payments. Uh, that is something, of course, that uh, which I think is uh, uh, some, you know, what NSDL has contributed in a number of areas, of course, so, you know, making uh, uh, you know, substituting electronic uh, transaction capability for uh, paper. Uh, and uh, we are very excited about this uh, license and uh, we think that uh, we will be able to play uh, an important contribution to our economy. All right, Mr. Rao, just hold that thought. Let me, in fact, bring in uh, Mr. Vineet Nair as well. Uh, who, uh, Tech Mahindra also has been shortlisted. It's also got, uh, the, it's one of the other names of the 11 that's been mentioned in the circular today. Mr. Nair, congratulations, firstly, as far as being shortlisted for payment banks is concerned. So your reaction to this? Well, uh, obviously, we are very happy that we have been shortlisted. Uh, 
we always felt that we had the necessary capability uh, in terms of both the reach, the, the group we dealt with finance, and the technology. In fact, we have been using Mobiquity, our technology, uh, for providing these very services in multiple, about 18 African countries at this point of time, and it's growing uh, quite exponentially. So for us, uh, in terms of technology, this is not new. We have been doing it ever so often in multiple places. And obviously, uh, uh, our collaborators, Mahindra Finance, have the financial uh, capability, expertise, and the reach, which is important. So I do think we are all set. So what, what, what's going to be your strategy, you know, because we've been discussing this with some of your peers as well who've just been uh, announced in the shortlisted list. What, what kind of strategy are we talking about? What, what's going to be your initial plan when we talk about payment banks? If you can just, you know, if you can run us through what you would have probably submitted to the RPI in a brief, if you can take us through your strategy. Well, our, our strategy is that we have locations almost all pan India and um, uh, uh, we will create the necessary infrastructure, uh, technical, technological infrastructure to get this going. I mean, uh, we will just repeat in many ways what we have been doing all over the world, in Latin America and Europe and in Africa. So, is there a certain plan that you can share with us in regard to what kind of investments are we talking about? Or, you know, as time progresses, we'll probably have some more clarity. Just to get a sense from you as to how you're approaching this from a financial standpoint as well. No, uh, it is at this time premature. Now that we have been given this, and I believe 18 months to work it out, I think we'll configure it in the best possible way, given the conditions as they exist in India. Yeah, so we've been talking to a lot of government voices. We've been talking to the governor as well in our last interaction. The one thing's pretty clear. The, you know, we've been looking at a lot of reforms when we talk about the financial industry. Just to get a sense from you, what kind of potential do we really see when we talk about payment banks? What kind of future does this entire sector really hold? If you can run us through that as well, sir, as far as your analysis stand. No, I mean, it is in billions. The kind of money which is being transacted, even in countries like Africa. So in India, I think it is going to be substantially higher. So it's, got, it's a big one here. Uh, it would be hazardous to make guesses now, but I think you will see a parallel of, of what you saw in the telecom re revolution in India. Only thing is, this time, since everybody is familiar with technology, most importantly, the consumers in rural areas, the period will be much shorter. So it is something which we are very, very excited about. Mm. All right, you, you know, Mr. Nair, just uh, uh, you know, th thanks so much for joining us today and taking us through all your uh, thoughts and strategy as far as payment banks are concerned and what Tech Mahindra's approach is really going to be. Uh, but, you know, we've also been in conversation, Mr. Rao, from NSDL uh, decoding the outlook as far as these developments are concerned. We've also got Mr. Rajiv Varora, Director and CTO.